something else. Your bucket list, your life list. Every time you come on this show, we <laughs> talk about your life list and you throw something out there that's kick butt awesome and I'm like, I want to help you mark that off. Jackie, I've yet to help you mark something off your life list. And I want to do that. One time I was going to fly you to Seattle to see Ryan Adams in concert. Is that right? Is that yeah. who you wanted to see? And it just didn't work out. I mean, I was going to send you up there and I hope you set some gigs up. You can see him in concert because that's on your life list. Have you seen him in concert? No. Okay. So maybe I can still help with that. But but I really want to help you do that. Because like we say on the show all the time, it's fun to make a life list. It's neat to mark stuff off. But it's life-changing if you can help somebody else put their goals, dreams, and aspirations in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. It makes it a take something that can be considered very selfish, a life list or a bucket list. It makes it not about me, but it makes it about other people. And that's what I dig about it. So... Tell me about, do we have a list? Do you have a list in your purse? Do I need to get somebody to get your purse so we can look at it? Is it on your phone? If you know me, and I know, we, we've I talked know, about this, if you know me, you know that I don't write anything down. I know, no like, songs, no nothing. No songs, I know. nothing. I'm, I'm lucky enough that I write my, fill in my calendar. I do that, because okay. if I don't, I will be a crazy person. But I do have some things mentally in my head that I uh, really want to do. Okay, talk to me. There's a couple things. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm so lucky that I stumbled onto Lori McKenna before I became a mom. I love her. Me too. I she has her music has changed my life and this whole becoming that's been happening with me, she's been a part of that and her music. And she doesn't know that, but I'm gonna tell her one day. But her I'll songs, send this to her. Her, her songs, this more specifically her latest album, have really helped with that transitioning period and becoming, you know, a, a woman and a, an, ad, an adult um, and a mom because she's all those things. And she writes about them so well in her songs and her songs are filled with so much wisdom. And I would love to write with her one day just because I feel like our styles are really similar and she has that wisdom that I'm wanting and getting now. Isn't it on a lot of people's probably life list to write with Lori McKenna? I mean, she's Definitely. Grammy Award winning now. So what can we do? I say we, again, me help you possibly, to make that happen. Because surely everybody and their dog is asking her. So Everyone let's... wants to write with her. A few years ago, if you would have just flown to her house in, in Massachusetts, she would have written with you. And I think now... Drew Kennedy did do that, as a matter of fact. Yeah, he did, and a lot of other people did. And now that she's blown up, you know, it's like really hard <laughs> to be able to do that. And I'm not in any rush. Like it's not something I have to do like next week. Like right. I just want at some point in my life, I want to write with her. Okay. That's one thing that's I love it. definitely on my bucket list. And I want to meet her if, if at least just meet her and tell her that her music has changed my life. Now, when you started talking about her, did you start to get teary eyed? There was no tears. It was at the lights? It was warm. <laughs> Cause I thought, I really thought you were going to cry on this radio show, but you didn't cry at your own daughter's birth. And I was going to be like, that was awesome. <laughs> I really thought I was going to get you, but I didn't. 